So I've come up with a new way to climb a tree using a saddle type hunting harness. Uh, real simple, I borrowed two cow halters from the farm to rig this up initially just to demonstrate it, but uh, in a hunting scenario I'd probably use the arborist rope that I normally use. Um, you don't actually need to use your lineman belt when you're climbing. Uh, that's the way it works is you use your tether as your top section. They have a foot rope. So real quick, uh, just a demonstration, but obviously uh, this is actually only the third time I've done this, so um, not trying to say this is the rig you're going to use when you hunt or climb a tree, but uh, just a quick demo to show how easy it is. Also your tree strap that comes with a, or a tree saddle is not going to work too well because it's going to slide up and down the tree too easily. You're going to want a rope that's going to tighten pretty well on the tree. Um, your tether rope, instead of putting it as high as you can reach when you're hunting, uh, you're going to put it more at your shoulder height. Again, this is just a cow halter. Uh, and then you're going to do this, you have the same type of setup set up for your, your foot rope. Again, and this is going to be about uh, mid thigh height. And then I have a, a very simple piece of wood here, uh, just a piece of hardwood that came off of a pallet runner. The small diameter nylon rope is just to, so when you lift your feet, it won't slip off your feet. But your foot tether is going to go around the center of the board. For demonstration purpose, I'm just tying this around the center of the board so that when you stand on it, it just barely touches the ground. Um, in hunting, you would have probably a, a carabiner here so that you can detach it from the tree easily if you encounter limbs. And then uh, you'd have a prussic knot probably down here with another carabiner uh, attaching to a rope that's around the board just so you can adjust it easily uh, for your length. Because different diameter trees are going to use a different amount of rope on the tree. That's about right. I'm sure uh, as I learn more about this, different lengths of this part of the rope uh, will make make it more efficient probably as I'm climbing. Um, but I'm still kind of learning this myself. So right now, uh, like I can say about shoulder height with this. Again, I would have uh, an arborist rope tech, uh, normally if I'm hunting with a carabiner here, prussic knot, and then another carabiner attached to my, my bridge. Uh, but I'm just doing a demo here now, so bear with me. So once you've tied in, you can slide this down just so you can get your feet on your board. It doesn't have to be wood, it probably could be anything. You don't even have to be, have a board probably, but I found this is a lot more comfortable. So now all you do, slide your top tether up. So it's tight and sit down. All you have to do is lift your legs while sliding your foot tether rope up. And then you just stand up. Repeat the process. Obviously, it's not going to work very well on rough bark trees like hickory or sycamore, or loose bark trees, I should say. However, it should work pretty well on most trees. It's exactly the same mechanics of a climbing tree stand, except that with the particular setup I have at the moment, there is zero metal. And a lot less weight. Like I say, it's my third time doing this, so if I look like I'm awkward or slipping or whatever, I'm sure that'll get better with time. Not trying to be particularly quiet either. Probably can get about 12 to 8 inch, 18 inches per sequence of sliding each rope. But it really doesn't take much effort. 
probably even out of the camera frame by now. Uh, but I guess I go 20 feet in five minutes or less. Coming down is even easier. Just can't uh, let so much rope down that you can't get the tension off of the other rope. back on the ground. A lot less effort than other climbing methods I've tried. A lot less weight. And a lot safer too, probably. You can't fall and catch yourself on a peg or a climbing stick. Uh, you're tied into the tree the whole time. Again, obviously you won't be using cow halters for it, but I think this is gonna work pretty slick. Uh, a lot of modifications could be done. I already have a different piece of wood in my garage that I've rigged up that's got, I've sanded it so it has rounded edges. Um, and I'm gonna put nylon strapping through here that'll come up in a V to attach to the foot rope so it won't tilt side to side. Uh, I'm not so sure this can't work as your platform either. I am going to try it. I had traditionally been hunting with screwing tree pegs and using three magnum ones as my platform. I'll keep them in my pack just in case I don't like this, but uh, in the next three, four days, I'm gonna try it out hunting with the tree, the tree uh, rope and piece of wood as my platform. You can slide the, the rope around the tree uh, for both your, your tether and your foot rope pretty quickly to get yourself in a position on any side of the tree, which is kind of slick. But, so that's what I've come up with. Pretty excited about it.